the anxiety and the pressure and the strength that it took to get from where you were to where you are doesn't go away so you, so you don't really believe it's yours. And you're scared to relax and really rest in whatever it is or whoever it is. And the enemy always has some sort of tool or memory or situation that he uses to terrify you even though the, the good times are here and, and, and the dream is there and the blessing is there and the goodness is there. But there's always this haunting, nagging, defiance that says, don't you relax. You're not worth it. You don't deserve it. And it's not going to last. Resting in what God has done is often more difficult than receiving what God has done. To rest in it, to believe that it will last, to believe that you will last, that love will last, that, that, that life will last, that, that good times will come, that things will be better, is difficult because of the voices. And you are what you eat, and the voices are the food that feeds your faith or fear. You see those voices that say what you can't do, what you can't have, what you can't be, what's not gonna last, what's not gonna work, is how the enemy pulverizes the promises of God in your life. And it takes word to combat word. 